Hey Mammals, what is going on? Today I've just finished recording my Q&A um, video guys and I have some questions popped up a few times. I got asked how did I reach my first 100 subscribers and have I got any tips on how to reach them and how to start up your gaming channel. Now I'm going to say now guys, I am no expert. I have only literally only got 130 odd subscribers so I'm not too sure why or what I can help you with but I'm going to try my best and maybe these tips can help you guys. Um, if they don't help, then I'm sorry, but if they do, then let's go for it. I will say now, guys, it's not easy to reach your first 100 subscribers. You will have a lot of down moments. You'll have your ha hype moments. It is hard, guys, but if you're committed, then you're going to do it. First thing, guys, find out who you want to be on YouTube and what videos you want to upload and why you want to do YouTube. There's no point in this whole entire world, and I mean it now, there's no point in doing YouTube for the money. Because I can guarantee you, you're not going to earn money of 100 subscribers, and if you do, there's going to be like £10, well, 10 pence, should I say. You know, you can't do YouTube for money. If you want to do YouTube for money, go find someone else to do. It is pointless, and it really does my head when people say I'm only doing YouTube for money, because you can't. There's just no way. you got to know what kind of videos you want to upload. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to start a channel, and I'm going to upload videos about GTA, and then... You know, not even upload, you upload one video GTA, it's not committing. You know, you can commit to YouTube and say I'm going to upload every single day. And it comes two weeks later and you're bored of uploading every single day. Make sure you have your perfect schedule on how to, you know, when you're going to upload. You know, you got to make sure why and who you are going to be on YouTube. You can't just start up a channel and not even know why. You can't just start up a channel, guys, and not even know who you are. Because, you know, there's a lot of channels out there and they are uploading good quality videos and if you don't even know who you are on YouTube how do you expect other people to know who you are number two guys is share your videos make sure you share your videos on as many social media sites as you can possibly find make sure you put a good description when you're sharing your videos to make people want to come and have a look at your channel um, for example guys I share my videos on my Facebook page that I've created which is another idea you could do my Twitter that I've created, Instagram, Reddit, um, Google+, Facebook forums, other forums on Google, Yahoo. There's a load of social media sites you can share your videos on, guys. Make sure you do it because it interacts with your other, like other people who haven't seen your channel yet. It gives them an opportunity to come over and have a look at your channel. So make sure you share your videos, guys. Number three, guys, is be active with your subscribers and thank them for coming over and subscribing to your channel. Make sure you are active with your comments, so when your subscribers comment on your video, make sure you answer them back. I know that when you reach like a thousand million comments a day, then it's going to be a pre pretty much harder to do that. But when you're, you know, haven't got much comments, make sure you comment back to them, because they know that you're actually thinking about them, if you get what I mean. You know, they know that you're active with your subscribers, so just make sure you comment back to them, guys, and make sure you... Thank them for coming over and subscribing to you. I know it could be pretty hard to like, you know, message each and every one of them, but every now and again, say in your videos, guys, like, thank you for subscribing, and just make sure you're active with them. That's the only word I can really explain on how to, you know, be active with them. Just make sure you're active with them. Number four, guys, is post as active as you can. Make sure, as I said, as number one, guys, make sure that you post as frequent as you can. It gives your subscribers, you know, a reason to come over your channel and see your new video and gives your subscribers some faith that you're going to commit to YouTube because they don't want to just subscribe to someone who in a week later is not going to ever upload a video again. They want to know that you're active uploading and they want to know that the, when they subscribe that they're going to get something out of subscribing, not subscribing and then be let down. They want to know that they are going to keep having videos being uploaded. Number five guys, tags. Make sure your tags are up to date. Make sure that you have tags that are relevant with your videos. So don't have tags saying like, oh Battlefront Let's Play when you're playing Call of Duty because it just won't work because people are going to find your videos and under the Call of Duty tag, under the Battlefront tag and they really want a Call of Duty video. There is a site program you can download called TubeBuddy guys and it recommends you popular tags for the video. Uh, you can also go on to popular videos, the same as yours, and you know, you can copy and paste the tags from there. So it's really a good site that you can use, guys, for tags. And number six, guys, is post quality content. You don't need the most expensive equipment, guys. 
Nobody goes on YouTube to watch blurry videos, though. But, you know, I haven't got more expensive equipment. I've got a PlayStation 4, guys. I've got a really bad, slow laptop. I've got, like, a £10 microphone. But I try my best to make the videos as not blurry as I can. So when I'm rendering the videos, guys, I make sure that they're in the highest HD I possibly can. Now, they, you can... It does take a long time to render, but it's better than having blurry videos, guys. And also, you can pick up a decent camera or... Even a smartphone works as well, guys, so you can film. Um, make sure you film in front of a window for the best quality as well with lighting. You know, you don't need expensive lighting. Just make sure you've got a window so it's natural light, guys. I don't actually have a camera to use, guys. I use my phone, which is an iPhone. When it comes to face cam, I use is my laptop camera. And then when I'm streaming, guys, I haven't got no, like, HQ, whatever they called, and capture cards guys I'm literally using my PS4 the in internal capture card in the PS4 and then to take it down to make videos like this guys I simply just upload my streams to YouTube and then download them straight off YouTube delete that video and then you've got the video so you don't need no you know extreme capture card and hundreds of pounds spent on one you know there's, there's no point in them if you can do it for cheaper and make us just as good videos you know it, it is good to have quality stuff not all of us can afford it Next up, guys, number seven. Get creative. Now, I think this one is the most one that you really need to do. Thumbnails. Create custom thumbnails, guys. Don't go copying someone's thumbnail. Create your own. I make custom thumbnails for people if you guys are interested. You know, it doesn't have to be the top kind of thumbnail, but just make it as eye-catching as you can. Titles, guys, titles as well. Don't go copying other people's. They might be the most famous video on YouTube, but make sure you make your own title. Because copying other people's would just get you done as fake, really. It's not the best kind of name to have. So, yeah, just make sure you are creative with your thumbnails and titles. Make sure you use annotations at the beginning of your videos. To you know, direct people to your channel, to direct people to other videos, subscribe buttons, as much information as you can in that annotation, guys. Links, make sure you have links. Just make sure it's out, you know, make sure it's eye catching as you possibly can of all them things, guys. You know, captions as well, make sure your captions work properly. You can have like little IQ things in the corner so people can go and click on that and that take you straight to your channel. Uh, what else is there? Descriptions, guys. Make sure your descriptions are creative. It's just for people to come over, guys, and lock your channel and think, wow, he's there I catch. And then you go to other channels and they're like, oh, they're boring. They copy other people. There's no point. So just make sure you be creative, guys. Number eight, guys, is just make sure you're happy when you're doing your videos. Make sure you can make yourself laugh to make others laugh. I know it sounds hard to do. And it's quite hard to make yourself laugh. But as long as you can make yourself laugh, guys, you can make other people laugh. You know, you don't just sit there and go, oh, well, this is Black Ops 3. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I killed him. Oh, yay. You know, make sure you're like, oh, I'm, this is Black Ops 3, guys. Welcome. You know, we're going to play gun game and let's see who smashes each other first. No? Okay. Um. Anyway, guys, yeah, make sure you're not boring. Make sure you're nice and jolly and happy and whack. Number nine, guys. Collab with other people. When you make a YouTube channel on your own, you can get pretty bored quite easily. So make sure you, you ask people if they want to collab. For example, guys, I have a couple of friends I collab with. I have, you know, Zombifier, Ebex, uh, Corden, uh, K Knightley. I have loads of people I do videos with, guys. And I'm also growing to do other videos with other people. So make sure you ask. If you don't ask, guys, you don't get. So ask people if they want to collab with you. Ask your subscribers. Ask active as possible. And just get collabing you can collab on pretty much anything GTA 5 Black Ops Minecraft Battlefront you can even collab on PC games you can both be playing the same game on Skype and just good thing to get known because you're also doing it on two channels if you can guys try and get on other people's channels as well for example I'm working with a team now today we game and since then guys I've grown a good couple of subscribers since collabing with them you know it's perfect good just get on other people's channels collab and number 10, guys, last but not least, be yourself and believe in yourself. If you do not believe in yourself, guys, how do you expect other people to believe in you? It is hard, guys, and you will want to quit halfway through it because, trust me, I've hit the milestone a lot of times when I just want to pack my bags and go and leave. 
But then you've got to think about why you started it in the first place and why you're still doing it. You know, if you don't believe in yourself, guys, and no one else will, it is hard and it is hard to believe in yourself. But you just do it. Trust me, it's worth it. I honestly, the other day, like two days ago, I just wanted to quit. I just honestly just wanted to go and leave YouTube. Then I stopped and I thought, why do I actually want to do YouTube? Why am I doing it? And, you know, then I... I believed in myself guys, that's what I've done for the first day that I started, I believed in myself all the way through it, and other people behind me started believing me as well, so as long as you believe in yourself guys, you can do anything, trust me, be positive and believe in yourself, and that is it guys, I hope this video has helped you a lot, um, that should answer your questions as well, people who has asked me how do I hit my first 100 subscribers, and how do I start the channel, as I said at the beginning guys, I am no expert, I've only got 130 subscribers, but I thought I'd be nice to answer the questions to everyone who has asked me these questions. So I hope you guys like this video, if you do give it a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe. You know there's loads more to come and peace out.